Right, everybody, look at that big lion there. I've just got to quickly call him in. Tex, male lion, junction, Wahlberg's nest and uh, Twin Dams Road. Animal is static. Right, let's go around the other side of him. I think this is that uh, Birmingham boy with the sort of pathetic pom-pom on the back of his tail. Yes, yes, I know. I'm sorry I said that about you. He's looking at me very angrily now because I've told him, everyone, that he's got a poor pom-pom. If you were to compare his pom-pom, though, with the one, for example, on Jamie's hat, um, you would be amazed at how poor it was. But now look at him in the golden light of the dawn. Hello, boy. Very spectacular there. I may even try take a photograph of you. Please don't lie down just yet. Isn't that lovely, everyone? Beautiful male lion. And thank you for pointing him out to us. Apparently he was on the Juma Dam cam. Stunning. Ooh, there's another one calling. That's why he turned his head. It went, ooh, ooh. I believe Hayden Turner of Australia is watching us. Hayden, wonderful to have you with us. And thank you for giving us of your time, of course. And please do send through, uh, well, not so much a question. You probably can't ask anything that, uh, you, don't, that you don't know that we don't know, if you know what I mean. Just send, send, tell us what you're doing on your, well, you must be almost in Sunday by now. Tell us how it's going there in Australia. And also tell us when you're next going to come and see us. Because I know there are many people who'd like to know the answer to that question. Now, a very good question from someone I think called Iretus. That's an interesting name. Iretus, you say, do we call lions by the groups that they are part of rather than by individual names because they're more difficult to tell apart and the answer is yes and no they're not as easy as leopards to tell apart um, they have obviously don't have those unique spot patterns beneath the, the nose that the leopards do they don't have well unique spot patterns all over the body like the leopards do they also roam much further which means that they're not ever in the same area for the same amount of time as the leopards are so we don't see them on properties the size that we operate on as frequently as we do some of the leopards and yes there is an, an element of us calling them by the group that they belong to because we can't identify them obviously but it's also because they belong to that group now you can absolutely tell which line this is if you see them regularly I am particularly poor at recognizing animals, but I guarantee you that we've got viewers who will look at him and on sight be able to identify him immediately. And I recognize him as a Birmingham boy, I think, and I stand to correction here, because of that, if you look at his tail, you can see that it's got a skinny pom-pom on the end of it. It doesn't have a sort of a large black pom-pom. So I think that's how I've identified him as one of the Birmingham boys. So please, would somebody help us out here? Somebody of our, our more regular viewers, will you help us out and tell us which Birmingham boy, or what the name of this Birmingham boy is? And they're named the Birmingham boys, of course, because they come from a farm in the Timbavati called Birmingham. The Timbavati is a little bit north of this position, about 50 kilometers or so, so they're quite a long way from the pride into which they were born. And just for our new viewers, that, I mean, they're called the Birmingham boys, there are four of them. He's hearing another lion calling somewhere. He keeps looking. The four Birmingham boys were five. They come from a pride on the farm Birmingham, like I say, uh, on, in the Timbavati. One of them was killed from or died from the injuries sustained by a buffalo that he tried to kill. Unfortunately, he came off second best. Then these guys took over this area almost exactly a year ago. They chased out the dominant males. Um, James in Texas, you want to know how they know each other from other lions that are unrelated. 
James, I think very much in the same way that you know uh, who is friend and who is foe. They grew up together from tiny little cubs. They're all roughly the same age. I don't think they're all from the same litter, but they'll certainly be from two females who gave birth relatively same time. And so they know, they've know they known each other from birth. They smell like home. Remember that animals use their sense of smell far more than do uh, our human beings. And they'll recognize each other's smells. And I also think you'll find that they will recognize uh, the look that he, each other and we also know interestingly James that lions are able to recognize each other's voices so if a lion calls from a distance he will be able to tell exactly who that lion is if it's an unfamiliar lion he will know that almost immediately